is day three, and I realized as I was driving into work this morning that I will face a fresh challenge today at lunchtime. I have a new employee who is starting work today, and one of the um, welcome rituals on our team is that we all go to lunch together to welcome that new team member and just to, uh, you know, have a chance to socialize and get to know each other and let him get to know us and we get to know him and all that. So um, it's a really great thing to do and I'm excited about him starting and joining the team. But I realize um, this is the first time I'm fasting uh, for, that, for our team lunch. So the good thing is, um, as the manager, I have control over how we handle this and um, due to, to some time constraints of other meetings, rather than going out to lunch, uh, we'll be ordering in. And so there's a wonderful Greek restaurant just um, right across the street from my office complex. So I'm planning to, for myself, order a nice Greek or Mediterranean salad with grilled salmon on it. I've gotten that a lot there, it's delicious. Um, and so I think what I'm gonna do, uh, we'll be busy during that hour. Uh, visiting and like I said just getting to know each other and so I'm just planning to not make a big deal about it at all I'll open my salad and kind of like when you're a kid and you push your food around on the plate and move those vegetables around that you don't want to eat I will just sort of um, you know pick at it and move some things around and maybe have a few bites of just plain lettuce and and just really kind of uh, look like I'm eating but not be eating and spend the time uh, on conversation with the team members. And so that's my plan. Um, I, I think it'll go fine. I think everybody else will be so busy eating and chatting that they probably won't even notice. So I am planning to take the rest of my ketone water, the half that was left from yesterday. So that's the ketones with the caffeine. I did see a video a while back from Dr. Boz. If you have not checked her out um, on YouTube, Dr. Boz, B-O-Z. Her name is Annette Bosworth, and she is an internal medicine doctor. And she's one of the only medical people that I've seen talk about the benefits of using exogenous ketones. And she actually recommends that you take them with like a tablespoon of cream. So I think I might try that, um, putting a tablespoon of cream in what was left from yesterday shake that up and drink that while I nibble on a few bites of lettuce. <laughs> so that's my plan for fasting through lunch and then that will get me to my four o'clock um, time and then depending on my meeting schedule this afternoon I will eat um, my salad that my grilled salmon salad later this afternoon around 4 or 30. So uh, yeah so that's my plan for today and I think it's gonna be fine. I'll check back in with you later. Okay, so my lunch plans to um, just nibble on a few pieces of lettuce here and there, that worked out great. No one noticed or cared a thing about what I was doing or not eating. Um, we just had good conversation and everybody enjoyed their lunch. I did notice, um, now I did add a tablespoon of cream to what was left of my uh, ketone water, the splash ketone water from yesterday and that tasted really good. It tasted like a creamsicle. So um, I finished that and that really got me through the lunchtime um, session. But it is now 1.30. I had that drink about 10.30 uh, before I went and picked up lunch and then went through our lunch meeting. It's now 1.30 and I'm definitely feeling another significantly strong wave of hunger. So I think I'm gonna go fix a cup of decaf coffee and add a tablespoon of cream and a little bit of my um, vanilla monk fruit sweetener to that. And that should get me through the rest of the afternoon. I have a couple of meetings between two and four o'clock, so I'm going to go sip on that coffee, get through my meetings, and then I'll be able to dive into my um, grilled salmon salad. So all is going well. I think just sitting in the room during lunch, even though I wasn't eating, sitting in the room, um, smelling everybody else's food <laughs> and all that has made this afternoon a little bit challenging for me. So, but um, 
anyway, uh, hopefully the cup of decaf will take care of it. And again, then I'll be in meetings, I'll be busy, and four o'clock will be here before I know it. Hi, I'm happy to report that I made it through the afternoon of day three. And I, that decaf coffee I had with cream definitely helped uh, get me through. And then after my meeting, I was definitely hungry uh, when my meeting ended at four. In fact, the last half hour of the meeting, my stomach was growling loudly enough that the people sitting around me could hear it. And so that was, um, that was kind of funny. They kind of kept looking at me and I'm like, mm, didn't eat enough lunch today. <laughs> so anyway, um, so that all went well. I stuck with my eating schedule um, despite the challenges today. And the salmon, the grilled salmon Mediterranean salad that I ordered was delicious, as it always is. It was a very generous portion of salad, and the salmon was bigger than the piece they normally put on there. And so I ate half of that. And then I also had about half a serving of macadamia nuts. So very delicious uh, way to break my fast. And then I'm planning to eat the other half uh, this evening, sometime before eight o'clock, and also my square or two of dark chocolate, the 86% dark chocolate. Looking forward to that. I'm not planning to drink any wine tonight because I'm going to visit my granddaughter and play with her, and it's usually eight or 8.30 before I leave their house. And so, um, that'll be outside my, my window. So anyway, um, delicious food and uh, just a really great day. So I had a great day three and um, looking forward to day four. So I will check in with y'all tomorrow. Have a good evening and God bless.